welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Um, and today we do another video. Different, eh, kind of different. We haven't done it before, let's put it that way. So today I'm actually driving and I'm on my way to Fort Canale in Saginaw. Um, our buddy Sean, not Sean from the channel, other Sean, he invited us to help choose a barrel that they're going to sell in their store. Uh, it is a Jefferson store pick. Um, I think we're going to do it, just hang out in the store and taste a few samples, figure out which one we like the most. Sean and I have talked about wanting, Sean from the channel, uh, and I have talked about wanting to get involved in these with them for a while now. So this is really cool that they invited us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Humongous shout out to those guys. If you're in Midland or Saginaw in Michigan, they, they easily have the top. Those two stores easily are in the top three selections in the Tri-Cities, I'd say. So, um, great stores, great people. Sean and his dad are both awesome. So, yeah, I'm headed to the Corkinale store in Saginaw right now, where I suggest you uh, stop and shop. This will be what it's like for stores who aren't in Kentucky, uh, who aren't around Kentucky, or around, I should say, the distillery themselves. This is for stores, this is how stores that aren't there pick barrels. Talk to you guys in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think these are, are these, these are cut or uncut? They're barrel proof. Yeah, yeah, so they're barrel proof. So we need we need water. So you're tasting them all at barrel proof. Roughly, it's a, it's an ounce, a half ounce of water per ounce of barrel proof. We'll get you down to approximately 90, 91, which is what it'll be when it when it's bottled. So we'll tell you guys who haven't done this with us before how we do it. We'll walk you right through it. So for those of you who haven't done this with us before, here's here's our routine. You've got A, B, and C. Uh, in that order. Um, what we do is we go through, nose every glass. We nose A, we nose B, we nose C. Take notes. Then we come back, we sample A, B, C, take notes. There's crackers for in between, water for in between. Then we go back and we cut it. And then we do A, B, C again. Both nose and then palate again. So. First one, I got a lot of spice and a touch of wood, maybe chocolate on the first one. The first one's, the, biggest, on the, yeah. first one's yeah. the biggest by far. Yeah. It is. But this one's really interesting because I've never had a piney nose like that on a bourbon yeah. before. Yeah. What other barrels do you have coming? Uh, we've got a Four Roses single barrel coming. Ooh. Um, we have a Jefferson's Regular, a Jefferson's Ocean. We've got a Whistle Pig 12 year. Really? Um, we've got two or three Elijah Craig's. Um, we've got an old forester. Yeah, I, I was supposed to bring some bad oh, God, so I'll bring some bad yeah, we'll next it time I come in. What do you thought, Larry? Well, yeah. Hey, I'm with Larry. No. No, and Steve. If I buy one. Yep. Right, yeah. And again, once you cut it with water, that butterscotch came out. It was caramel at first, and then went right to butterscotch. Man, it was just like a couple of my former roommates and friends and we watched the show. We want to go to the Michigan Express game and take it to Yeah, actually, can I open it? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a bar, and we're all going to get out of here. I know, I'm the worst. That's right. E R Y. It's almost like being on the Yeah. A hemlock tree in the middle of summer, you know? Ooh. You gone to the party yet? Actually, he's right. <laughs> it's, more like being under, it's more like being under a eucalyptus tree. It's like so. a closet yeah. in your grandma's house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Really good idea. 
form a Woodford Masters collection. What's that? Uh, Barrel Proof Ride. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, you should pitch that. Yeah. Masters collection is going to be next year, too. The rye. Chocolate rye, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Uh, the only thing that we had ago, chocolate rye in was that Belconis. Uh -huh. That was crazy. Walked, mm -hmm. walked in with chocolate. Yeah. Walked into the fermentation room and it smelled like chocolate. Really? Uh, it, was, mm. it was the beginning of the chocolate rye that's going to be. The only thing I. Just keep pressing it down and see where it goes. I'm happy. R and Y are both really good, but then you give it yeah. a break, come back to R, you're like, ah. Yep. It just, there's, there's just more going on. I think Y was the spice as well. Yeah. I like that actually, but it's it's it like rolls it does, on it really did. nice. It did, but I don't think it had the the, the balance. I don't think it had you, much you don't have the flavor to go yeah. with it. Like it yeah. just it, it keeps going, and you're just like, ah, I'm just getting spice. Eventually, I'm getting yeah. nothing with it. Yeah. No, oh, gentlemen, you're gonna have to. Oh, yeah. okay. You're gonna have to tell these guys about this because this is different mash bill, right? Oh really? Uh, the Woodford Double Oak, actually the same mash bill as Woodford Reserve. You'd never guess it. Um, what it is is it's the second barrel aging. So it's all the Woodford from the top level barrel warehouses. Well, most people don't know this, uh, but we proof it down to around 90 proof, and then barrel it again uh, in lightly toasted, or heavily toasted, lightly charred, and then I put it back up in the top layer for it's anywhere from six months to a year, depending on when it's ready, uh, and then it comes out as... Oh, well, come on. So the cool thing is, oh, they, proof down in between. they proof it down just because it, it then gets quicker, faster interaction with the wood. Yeah, okay. those you get more. Or yeah. whatever it is. Uh, so that is a, the double oak on the shelf is about 150 barrels mingled together to create one particular flavor profile that is wood for double oak. So the Opperman's double oak will be, it's, it's depends on the, the batch, it depends on how many how much whiskey each barrel yields, right. but it's between seven and ten barrels. Okay. Uh, it's a that unique batch. Yeah. Once it's gone, that's yeah. what you get, or that's what you get, and nobody else gets it. Yep. And then they rebatch. Because I had uh, they proof it down to approximately ninety, and then barrel it before again before the second so barrel, that's, and that's oh, the proof. Oh, that the, came second, out the second. So barrel. then do they proof it down again for the store pitch? They, or they no? do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this will be proofed down. That'll be proofed to 90.4. Yeah. Okay. So oh, it will. will. Not much, but a little bit, yeah. So, yeah, not much at all then on some of these. That's a couple like 40 percent. percent, yeah. All right, so we know we're not, on, we're not going to do one, so pour out your one. And let's compare our last barrel. Um, one. Yeah. One? Yeah. Which one's that? Yeah. Or any yeah. water? Yeah. Oh. oh, I might be wrong. Sorry. All right. This is a great barrel. And this is 90 proof? Yeah. yeah. Or 90, yeah. 90. I gave you, you, you some. Uh, this is way more rich. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I spent all of it. Yeah, Make it a, a deeper. This that smells does. like breakfast. Yeah, no, that's that's molasses right there. That's yeah. what that is. A nice sweet bread, like syrup. Oh, it's deeper than that. It's molasses. French toast, with butter so on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a solid barrel. This is just a yeah. kick-ass barrel. Like when you get down. You ever cook down and make yeah, none of these are that. That's what that is. That's fortified. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, what we can do if we want to. So we can say no to these three and say bring back another set of samples. Till we find something that we like as well. Is this? Two is not as good as that. It's like, uh, like French toast syrup with butter, but then like late is like apple and nose. There's something about two. I, I am two. Two I like. I, mean, I was, I'm still I, two. Two and the one you just pulled out are like, you know, apples to oranges, but I like, I prefer two over the one you just pulled out even. But that spice that comes through, mm. it kind of gives it that mm -hmm. extra, like, more, there's, mm -hmm. there's something else. You're right. There's a different level to There's it. a different... Just one of those this things. is much... This is... This is like butter. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. This is swallowing a silk necrochet. Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay. This is... This is... Power. You get that at first, and then it just... Yeah. This is like... This, like, two to me is like good... Like winter fall whiskey. Right. Like you right, want right. that. You, you want a little, right. want a little yes. extra there. You want a little heat. I guarantee it. So really good. Oh, I forgot. 
We're uh, finishing up a little barrel pickage. A little, a pick of the barrel, as they say. What are we going with? No, uh, an Opperman's barrel pick? A little picky picky. Barrel? Okay. Splashy, barrel splashy. Fantastic. Nailed the pores on mm. one of them. Let's say one of them. 50% of them. 50% of the time, every time. Okay. We. It's not even a welcome back because you've already seen all the other stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be at the end. So we had the uh, the divine pleasure of being invited into one of our favorite local stores. Our do favorite local store. Not a lot. But they let us come in and do a store pick with them, which was super cool to You're see. You're gonna say the store? You wanna like, give them a shot? They've already seen it. Actually, I did a little bit of B-roll on the way into the store, so that's it. Opperman's Cork and Ale. Sean invited us um, to... Pick out some barrels. Sean invited us. Yeah. To pick out, help pick out, help choose, do a little barrel pick, a little Michigan barrel pick, as you saw. Um, we've wanted this. Woodford. We've wanted this for... How long a long time. Know, how long have we known Sean? Rye. Double oak. Not double oak. Just Woodford, yeah. Nine, <clears throat> technically, nine barrel samples. Uh, as you saw. Um, Oof. Here's the thing, man. Oof. The, the non double oak, not proved down. Barrel proof. Really good. Really great. Maybe um, you should make a uh, barrel proof of just what that is. There it is. It's called batch proof. Uh, the rye barrel proof. Batch proof, the, I think it's older. Probably. Yeah, yeah it's definitely different. It tastes yeah. a lot different. So proof up your regular Woodford. Amazing. <sighs> Yeah. Um, and then we figured out what the next Woodford uh, master selection oh, yeah. should be. It should just be a barrel proof rat. But it's not, because he told us what it was going to be, remember? Whoa, are we breaking news? No, I... We're breaking news! I'll say it if I want, dude. That guy doesn't watch our channel. All right, he didn't cool. tell us not to say it either. It's going to be a copyright strike. Let's point that out. Master's collection. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Woodford Masters Collection, 2019. 19. Chocolate rye. Chocolate rye. Chocolate yeah. rye. Man. It is rye. It's um, a rye, but it's chocolate. He Not did, flavored chocolate, like the, the grain. It's literally a a grain, chocolate rye. There's a grain called chocolate rye. Belcona's used it. They're Crazy chocolate it. finish, so I'm, using, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'll buy it. Um, Maybe. We just tried the Woodford High Proof Rise. Put one out. <laughs> In charge, the exact same price as Knob Creek Cast Rank. And you and would have not both. be able to keep that shit on the shelf. I'll have both. It was amazing. Was All three of them. them. Uh, two of them. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. I the love two one. of them. The, the third one? one? Oh, the, yeah. The, th the second one tasted a little young. Yeah. It smells a little young. felt grain forward. Third weird. one? Super weird. I have yeah. never smelled something that smelled like a grapefruit more in my life. Sure. It's oh, good. it was really so good. Mmm. Yeah, so needless to say, uh, third one we did was double oaked. My, the rye was my favorite. Of all rye, the hands down, was my favorite, with and without water. Even with, when we cut it down, mm, still super good. I'm said, excited for that. They said the Woodford Rye store pick is going to be around 40 ish dollars. So somewhere probably between 40 to 50 bucks, I bet. Double oaked was actually sent back. Mm -hmm. We couldn't really all agree on one. I liked the second one a lot, but it I like the third one more. It was more yeah. of a niche. Uh, those were weird. Those were different. But they got out their first door pick and said... Of double O. Yeah, double O. And they said, it's not to this level. You do not pick something that you don't believe in. But, and here's the thing. If you take any pride in your store picks, you can't be buying Which bullshit. everyone does. That's the only reason you store picks. I think some bigger stores are like, yeah, people buy it. You know what I mean? That's fair. But if you want to be known for store picks, if you want your store picks to be good, you... You pick good store picks. You pick good store picks and you send back store picks you don't think are good. It was such a cool experience. It was such a cool thing to awesome. be involved in. Yeah. Uh, we got... Jeff invited us back, so even if Sean tells us no, Jeff yeah. said yes. Perfect. Listen, that's where it's at. <laughs> now, uh, we won't go to, obviously, Whistle Pig with them. Are you making bases right now? I don't even think we can get time off or afford it, but we would go. Uh, so. I'll take time off. I PTO. <laughs> Sounds like we could be involved in more in the future, which would be super awesome. So yeah, if you're around Midlands, you're around Saginaw. You come up to Midland or Saginaw, you, you go up to the UP, you go up north, 
Go to just stop go in one of the two. Yeah. Middle and second on both great stores. Best customer service in the Tri Cities for sure. Hundred percent. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. That's the reason we get to keep doing this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll probably keep doing it if you don't, but it helps us if you do. We definitely did it a lot when you guys weren't doing that, but We're, we really yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> it's super cool to see all the comments and be able to like talk back and forth. And be like, yeah. Dan, you see that comment we just saw? Great. Yeah. I love that shit. Subscribe. If you support us on Patreon, you're awesome. Uh, if you don't, Thank you, you like, comment, subscribe, you're awesome. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for the invite to the thing, Sean. You're the best, dude.